Okay, so uh, today's Sunday. I'm gonna work on go karts. I've already put the new body on and painted it, or painted, yeah, put it on, took it off, painted it, put it back on. Um, now I'm gonna pull out all the bearings and put them in the, the Sonic cleaner and clean them, and probably just talk to you about general crap while I'm working on the old bent Triton. Yeah, you heard me. It's bent. So. Uh, we're gonna spin it around here and we'll start taking out bearings and probably bullshitting. <coughs> Alright. Mm, looks good on the floor. Get it apart. So this is a 2012 PRC Triton. Uh, it was the second go-kart we bought. It's the go-kart that we won most of our races on. Our Lucas' rookie year when he won the points championship at High Rev, which back then it was uh, Deep South Speedway. If you hear the blower in the back, that's the heat box where I'm rolling tires too. Which I'll show you some of those when I'm I gotta put more inside prep. We've been rolling for three hours now, so I'll put the other prep in it. So there's the axle out. So I gotta, I'm gonna pull these off, these collars and bearings, and then pull the side pieces out of the bearings. But that's it. There we go. Didn't even bend it. All right, so I got the axle in my vise here just to, to hold it up. Now what I'll pull all these out. You got the little split in there. Screwdriver just pulls it apart. Watch your keyway. It's got the little spacer sleeve that holds the bearing or the holds this exactly where you want it. You can get them cut in a couple of different lengths. Bearing comes right off. Now these bearings they have this lube collar right here. That's what it's called. What you gotta do is twist it and you can see how dirty it are. Twist it and it comes right out. Now these are the pieces that I change more often because it seems like while you're racing it gets the dirt in there and the vibration causes them to wear out to where this the bearing will slide back and forth. I've actually been racing to where this is actually allowed the, the axle to slide back and forth and start slowing you down because it's her. <laughs> How's that sound? Let's see if we can get those cleaned out. I've got a set on order, or I gotta order a set. But we'll see if we can clean these up until they get here. That way they don't show up. At least I'll have them set clean and ready to go. But yeah, the Triton is bent with me weighing around 390. All I can get is 63 cross in it. That's the most cross we can get in it with the washer up, with all the washers all the way up and all the way down. But it's still fast. Like we've run it in stock appearing class. We've hot or half lapped them or half tracked them in stock appearing class on it. Daniel's gone out in stock heavy and gone from last to second. And if there would have been a couple more laps, he would have he would have definitely won it. Um, but Luca's raced it bent. I play on it bent. I don't race. Oh. Hope those bearings get here. But uh, we keep racing it. Keeps winning. We've set fastest 
We've set fastest lap times with it. And actually run faster lap times than run what you brung with our stock appearing on the thing. Still hooks some books. With these little rubber pieces, they come out. That's how you get deep down there and deep clean these things. You just gotta be careful that you don't rip them. There it's coming out. Actually, it's coming out over here. There you go. You get that little rubber piece out. And then you get down there and you can see the bearings. I don't know if y'all can see them. They don't look rusted. Just got dirt in there. Might be able to save them. Oh yeah, that's not rust. Get some dirt in there. Get you some good lube and carb cleaner and then drop them down in there. Now, pull these things out. Oh yeah, sounds much better. All right, so just got some Windex. I ran out of simple green. I thought I had some, but spray this in here. Now you can, this ultrasonic cleaner is not really necessary. This is the first time I'm going to use it for my go-kart stuff. You hear that? Get all that dirt out of there. But normally what we do, we'll pull them apart like this and I'll clean them, blow them out, simple green. And then I'll flush them with uh, the cheap lube from Walmart. Where you at, Walmart lube? That's not the cheap stuff from Walmart. <laughs> flush them, clean them with the cheap stuff from Walmart, and then I'll put them back together with the Triflo. Now, Triflo makes some foam spray, which is pretty good for like when you want to store your bearings. Like, let's say you're not going to race for a couple weeks or a month or something. You take the foam and you spray it in there and it sticks. It doesn't run out. This stuff actually runs out. So it doesn't stay inside the bearing while it's in storage or while you're not racing. You know, I think you understand what I'm saying. It'll stick and stay in there. In which, once these come out of the cleaner, they should be a little bit smoother. And then once I clean them and then load them up with Triflo, put all the covers back on them and put them back on the axle, it'd be pretty good. But that one, I'm gonna blow it out and drop it in there. A little raspy. Oh, she's nice and hot. Now all I have in there is just mineral spirits. And so these here, just clean them off. get all that heavy dirt off of them which with the dirt and the lube that's in there it feels like it's full of grease but it's not oh those are in there no who put those in there that time Mm. Just broke my bit. For all you people who don't think a wrench should be used like this, turn your heads. tight and probably just a tad bit of rust in there
I'm glad that dodged you guys because this is the brand new camera that I was talking about getting. I guarantee you that hub wasn't moving. What sucks is I broke the socket. Now I can't use the impact. Yeah. All right. All on. The cooking. All right, so now I'm on the front hubs, which I had to go get my snap ring pliers out of the trailer. These things are awesome. They're internal and external. Just flip that switch. And if you actually buy the kit, you'll get the, the 40, 45 and 90 degree little tips for the end to where you can swap them out so you can go have a lot more. See right now that's not going to work. Flip it, switch them again, take them in and then just squeeze it. Go from internal to external. Come out of there, Brian. I'll be honest, I don't think I've had these apart in a while. Hmm. Woo, those are pretty. Now what you gotta do is you gotta remember when these bearings come new from most places, even the rear bearings, they're full of grease. So you gotta take them apart when they're brand new and, and clean the grease out of them. Cause the grease, kinda like that one feels like it's got grease in it, but it's probably just dirt. It puts a lot of drag on the bearing. It doesn't allow it to free spin. So that's why you, you clean them with the, the Tri-Flow and a WD-40. So they'll spin freely. And then the same thing, take a little pick. Pull that apart. Now when these come in, they're full of grease. You just brake cleaner, brake cleaner, brake cleaner, get them cleaned out. I've actually had to just put brake cleaner in a cup and just set it in there just so it would soak and break it apart. But it feels like there's still grease in it. But there's no dirt in it and they're not rusted. See, that's how free it should spin. So maybe there was some little dirt in there. Or is there some grease that it broke up? But you get these clean with all the grease and the right tri-flow and WD-40 mix or whatever you put in there, and boom, and they, they, they're amazing. The PRC says the purpose of the round hub is that they were finding flex, that the wheel would actually flex. And this is for the right side. So instead of having the three hub or you know just a cutout to make because this is definitely lighter is that they went back to this because it was allowing it was stopping the center of the wheel to flex 
I don't know. I just ordered them. If that was true, so be it. If not, they got me. Oh, look how pretty those look. Boy, this could save you some time if it would run the whole cycle. If you're cleaning the rest of your go-kart. Pop all of these in there. Let them go through their cycle. Clean their go-kart and come back. Woo! That's, that's hot. These are hot. That. The Merrill's beards ain't hot. Those are hot. Guess they're heat soaked. Check that out. It took, made that all smooth. I mean, it, you can still see where it's kind of corroded and been rubbing. But it made it all smooth and shiny. Oh, there's a little bit of dirt. That's because I had them laying on top of each other. It was loose. I guess you don't need to lay them on top of each other. They don't stack parts. I mean, it's oily too from the the mineral spirits. So it'll probably help it from rusting. Still warm. They don't sound crunchy, they sound like dry, like there's no lube in them. Let me uh Yeah, they just sound dry. A little side to side movement on it. Ooh, it's hot. I'm happy. Let's see how they how they spin with the axle weight. When I put them back together. So you can take this. So you got this little groove right here. And just rotate back in there. Now be careful when you put these back in, you don't want to push them in there too far because then you push them down there on the actual bearing cage and then they won't spin. See, get that lube in there. Start, starting to it quiet them down. Oh, I didn't put the cup on the other side. Blew it right out into my hands. Right. I'll give that one to y'all. Still sounds fun. Oh, it's smooth.
All right, so. Like I said, Lenny's, if you put both of those rings on or seals on, spin it and make sure it spins. Because if you push it down in there too far, they won't spin. That's how you know you got to take the, the seal back out. Because there is an actual little lip it sits in. What's cool about it is since that was preset, you just slide this over and drop it in. And it's relocate your axle. Don't worry about that bent rotor. <laughs> See how smooth she is now going through the cleaner? They're a little noisy, but it's damn smooth. The brake rotor, on the other hand, she's bent bigger than crap. She's not rubbing though. Looks like she needs to come over just a tad bit if the the wobble will let it. Yeah, 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 I know you guys are over your cart still looks like crap. Need to get new burns. You didn't clean that good enough. Ah, you're probably right. But do I care? No. Well, there you go. That's me going through and cleaning the bearings. Not much else cleaning on the go-kart that I'm gonna do. We're just gonna run it. Um, 
I'm try to catch up after the next race on the, the full detail of the cart. Um, but I ain't gonna bore you about putting the hubs back on. I, I got the front hubs rebuilt. You saw that and how I cleaned them and put them together and what lube I use, how I would store them if I was gonna store them. And ultrasonic cleaner works pretty damn good. If, I think if, if it was like after this next race, if I just pull all the bearings apart and throw them in there, I won't have to clean them in full details like I did today. Just pull the seals off, throw them in there, go about my business. I gotta figure out why it keeps turning on and off. I think it's turning on and off because it's hot. I was reading a book a little bit a little bit while ago and it, it says it's got a thermal and if it gets too hot it'll turn off. So maybe if I can go in and on cold, not heat, run heat, but turn it on cold and see how it works. But uh that's the beginning of the Triton. I got still gotta do the kinetic. I gotta mount the body, go through the bearings on that one. That one's got brand new bearings and it's only been raced once, so it, it's still pretty good. I know they need to be clean and lubed and all that. And then once we get that, I gotta scale Luke out on this one and get Daniel over and scale him out on the other one once we get the body on it. So, like, share, subscribe. All the stuff we always, I always ask you to do. We're up to 207, 209 subscribers, which is, which is badass. And, these next few videos throughout this week is going to be go-kart and truck, go-kart and truck. I'm got to spend more time on the truck because I got to get it rolling. I've got some other equipment coming that we can't get in here with the truck in the way. So it has to be able to move outside. Um, Y'all going to like that. So be prepared to jump back and forth between the go-karts and the truck. And it's going to be like that as long as we're racing. It's going to be like that. I got to jump between go-karts and the cars or the hot rods or whatever I'm building because racing takes a lot. And right now I'm the only one working on the go-karts after a race. So, but it won't be mm, starting to ramble. <clears throat> I don't think the go-karts will take up much time once we get them going. As far as a Sunday power wash and then pull the bearings out, clean them, put it back together, shove them back in the trailer. Um, get tires, work tires a little bit, but that's it for today. Like, share, subscribe, and see you in the next video.